This is the moment here. You gotta be kidding. Living on the edge, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready for one of the most epic Bronco journeys across the U.S. ever to be documented. Our plan is to fly to Michigan, pick up the keys to our brand new 2021 Broncos, and drive them 3,000 miles back across the U.S., stopping at some of the most iconic and beautiful destinations in the northern states, including Badlands, Yellowstone, and a ton of other epic destinations along the way. With that said, we hope you come along for the ride. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Have we got a show for you today? I don't even know how to say this, like epically, but the long and short of it is we are flying out to Michigan to pick up our new Broncos. So we were supposed to do this two months ago and uh, go to the Bronco event in Michigan, but our Broncos got built and stuck at Dirt Mountain. They got stuck with hard top problems. So now we're doing the bonsai mission because we have to get back in time for other events. This is gonna be a series, guys, so make sure you stay tuned. It's gonna be epic. The, the plan is to, to trek across the United States. We're gonna take the north, we're gonna hit up some Northern epic route. places. Who knows what we're gonna run Northern into. Route. With all that said, let's hit the road and uh, see what kind of trouble we could get ourselves into. Watch your head, Evan. Is it a TSA? Yeah. The toilet safety assembly. <laughs> Not the nail clippers. Good? <laughs> Detroit, here we are, hours away, folks. Hours away from taking ownership of these bad boys. Plus, there's nobody here, which is kind of weird. <laughs> Russ is so excited. I'm excited. Well, guys, at this point in the video, you know, hasn't been too exciting, hasn't been too fun. Tomorrow's gonna be cooler. We're gonna get to the hotel. Uh, we are going to chill, relax, get breakfast in the morning. We got a couple things planned for this video that's a little bit different. Uh, for those of you guys new to the channel, you're gonna learn a bit about wild horses and what we do, so stay tuned. And tomorrow we pick these suckers up, so. And so starts the epic adventure back home. guys this is it this is the day I don't know I don't know how to react I guess we'll just see how this unfolds right any any other words anything we should be prepared for in buying a new vehicle <laughs> expensive payments I was ready for that one that's good I expected uh, that fun and frivolity yes oh we have Sierra is almost here is that Sierra Alrighty, gents, your time has come. Uh, that must nope. not be Sierra. <laughs> Did she just leave? Seems like it. Keep rolling. That was an Equinox. <laughs> Where is she going? She had an Uber sticker. She totally just dipped. Our Uber just dipped. <laughs> what? What did it say? Unfortunately, your driver had to cancel the trip. Please request a new 
ride in the I bet it was because we weren't wearing masks. That's totally freaking jacked. Report her. So the drama is unfolding here in Detroit today as a... That's what we can call the episode. A silver drama in Detroit. <laughs> At this point, we're just hanging out. Having a good time. Spending quality time with the boys. Russ is really excited, guys. I am speaking for him. E-Man speaks Spanish, so for all of our Spanish viewers... Saludos! Anything else? Buenos dias. And I could say all of that stuff. Adios. How do you say... So, tra uh, so, so translate watching. for Mitch. Translate for Mitch. Yes. We'll see you out we're, there on the trail. We're gonna, have, we're gonna have a manual translate for us. We'll we just want to thank all you guys. Gracias a todos. For watching up to this point in the video. Uh, <laughs> At this point, he could just be making stuff up. <laughs> Second confirmed oob on the way. Alright, so at this point while we're waiting for an Uber, um, we figured at this in this video, uh, before we start the whole road trip back, before we see the Bronx, before we do anything, we figured we might as well give you guys a quick look for those of you guys who don't know wild horses, don't know what we do, we give you a quick history lesson. And before that, there's no better person than the founder himself, Jim Thrill. My father, my daddy, pops. <laughs> Come here, son. <laughs> all right, so this is how it all started. Wild horses literally started in an alleyway located off the back of my studio that I lived when I first moved out. We would, had a little space back there, we would buy a wrecked Bronco and part it out. There was no Facebook marketplace, there was no Craigslist. Everything was done with this little mini merchant paper. It was very much local. After a while, we moved into a shop on School Street. That was maybe four or 5,000 square feet. I realized that we could not only part out Broncos, but we could sell new parts that we got from whatever name brands there were and we started to design our own parts. Then we started running ads in the back of some of the four-wheel drive magazines and soon we needed a bigger place so we moved up to El Dorado Street in Stockton into an old former car dealership there and we had a lot more space, a lot of elbow room so we could grow. Fast forward that to now we've moved up to Lodi, California and into another former car dealership. This was actually a Ford dealership back in the day, and we take up about 41,000 square feet. 98% of that is classic Ford Bronco parts. One thing, I definitely want to thank everybody for all the support over the years. We're super excited that our horizons are now expanding with the arrival of the new Bronco and we hope and pray that everybody will come along, continue the journey with us as we do more stuff and different stuff, and we also continue in our classic Bronco parts as well. Those are gonna be in our blood forever. I don't think they'll ever get out of there, but it's also exciting to do something new. So as we begin this literal journey, we hope all you guys will continue to ride shotgun with us and just know this is just the beginning. Thank you very much. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm blown away. This looks so freaking good right now. Hey. Don't touch my Bronco. <laughs> this right here is the reason that my kids won't be going to college. <laughs> and it is so worth it. <laughs> nice Bronco. Ready for a long, long drive. We're gonna know how comfortable it is here pretty soon. This is the moment here. Hold on, I've been, okay, now I've got like eight keys. This is rad. All right, see you guys, later. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what to say.
it's got new car smell. This is a weird feeling. It's got the new car smell, not for long. Uh, we're counting down the days until we can jump it, which will probably be this Saturday. <laughs> this is it, guys. What is it? I don't know, but it's it. We'd like to take a moment to thank Jack Demmer Ford here in Wayne, Michigan for taking delivery of these Broncos uh, in association with Big Valley Ford of Stockton, California. Thank you, Jack Demmer. Thank you, Big Valley. Um, appreciate what you've done. And we'll see you out there on the trail. Hold on, we're not wrapping this video up yet. <laughs> oh. Let's talk plan. Okay. Plan. okay. plan with the peeps, lay out the map. What are we hitting? So here's the map. We hit the highway. I think these have a tank of gas. We hit the highway. They better for 60 we grand. We blast through Chicago, <laughs> head into Wisconsin. Uh, we're trying to get to Badlands or at least within striking distance today. So it's a pretty long drive. We're going to go to Badlands. We're going to try to do Mount Rushmore, Crazy Horse, Devil's Tower if we have time, Yellowstone, Grand Tetons, all this. And we're going to get Evan back to film a wedding all by next <laughs> Saturday. All time on Saturday. So six days, five days really is what we have to work with. It's Monday, it's 9 a.m. or so. We've got all the way until Friday. I think that gives us plenty of time, but we'll see. We'll let the drama unfold. Again, this is this is like part one of this series headed back. What is it all going to unfold in this time? We have no idea. But zero drama. Zero drama. Well, with a brand new vehicle, you better hope so. Better be sure. <laughs> We're bringing them right back here to Ford now. <laughs> there you guys have it. I don't know what else to say at this, this moment. I'm glad that we get to capture it. Uh, I'm not making any of the reaction or emotion up. I am literally so stoked. Uh, not only just for this moment and for these things, because the fun does not stop here. The fun doesn't even stop with the end of this road trip. It stops, um, I guess it doesn't stop. It, it starts when we start making the parts for this thing designing bumpers, designing suspension components, selling all that stuff. We're gonna have all that available. Give us time. You know, obviously we've got the early Bronco stuff that we're doing. We gotta keep that going because that's just something we love and we're passionate about. This is gonna be a, a fun thing to take on. We hope you guys, again, stay tuned for it. Uh, support us as we go about it. Give us feedback. Let us know what you guys want to see. Uh, anyways, we can keep on going on uh, with the talking, but as we have learned you guys like to see these Broncos in action. So, uh, with all that being said, if you're not subscribed already, make sure you do. Become one of the horsemen. And with all of that being said, we will see you out there on the trail. Peace!